I don't come from comfortable beginnings. I come from the dirt. I come out of nothing. You looking at me today with all that I've accomplished because of faith. I want you to look at your life right now and think about something that's important to you, something that gives your life a sense of value. Think about something that you'd like to have or something you'd like to create for you or your family or for society. I want you to hold this thought in mind. Now, one of the first things I want you to do is don't worry about the inner conversation that you're going to have. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. That's going to come. You're going to develop a plan of action. You will find the way. You'll become the kind of person that can attract the people, the resources, and everything you need in order to make that become reality. But I want you to be mindful of your inner conversation. I remember once I was sitting in an audience and Zig Ziglar, who I consider one of the greatest motivational speakers on the planet, he was giving a speech and I was out in the audience and I saw him going back and forth and within myself I said, I'd like to do that. I can do that. And I leaned over to the guy next to me. I said, how much do they pay him to do that? And he said, $5,000. I said, I know I can do that. <laughs> and I admired him. And then on the way home, when I was driving from Tampa, Florida, back to Miami, Florida, my inner conversation kicked in. And it said, Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have a college education. Les Brown, you can't do that. You don't have the money. You don't have the contacts. You've never worked for a major corporation. What makes you think that you can make more in one hour talking than you've made working for a whole month? or doubt or an attitude or a, 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 a disorder. One thing that you know about yourself that limits your movement, your activity, your growth, your opportunity that stops you, that brings you to your knees. And in spite of everything else, 90% being strong and healthy, 10% can take you down. That inner conversation, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. You got to identify your God-given gift. If you don't identify your gift, you're going to waste your time. Telling jokes is my gift. This is what I do. I don't even know y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Sometimes you can't take everybody with you. When you know who you are, you have to have an inner circle that kind of insulates you from outside influences that affects every other thing in your life.